Hi everybody, welcome to Thursday. Yes, I'm releasing a video on Thursday. I don't normally do this, but this is an update on the timeline for the Kickstarter campaign. Now, as of now, I don't know whether we're going to launch Friday or we're going to launch Monday. I submitted this campaign to Kickstarter on Tuesday. Kickstarter is supposed to get back to you in three business days, so that should be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Should be ready to go on Friday, but it's telling me November 1st, so we may launch Monday. That's not the end of the world. I was planning on doing a Halloween live stream, but my voice is not there. I am still coughing. I was hoping I'd be able to be better by um, by Halloween so I could do a Beelzebub stream, but it's totally irresponsible for me to do an hour live in character voice. I can't, you may hear that I'm hoarse right now. I have been trying to rest it, but the Kickstarter video required me to do voices. It was a long day. Um, it was a weird day, but the finished product is pretty good. Uh, I will link in the description box of this video a link to the short version of the trailer, the two minute version. There is a six minute version on the Kickstarter page. I will also link to a preview of the Kickstarter page that hopefully works. I haven't gotten feedback from anybody who's not a contributor to see if they can actually see the preview page. It should work, but Kickstarter's code just feels so dated to me right now. But um, <coughs> I'll show you a little little preview of the page here. Um, here we are, ta-da! It's here, but you notice here this project is not live. This is only a draft. So um, <laughs> there's been some new features since I've run a Kickstarter campaign. Hopefully they work. Hopefully this this page will not get buried by the Facebook algorithm this time. Apparently, if you do not put text or like banners in your preview image, Facebook is less likely to bury it, which is why there is no text in the preview image for the video. It is it is just a cast shot. Um, so here's hoping. Um, but... Yes, um, we will know tomorrow. At this point, I suspect it's probably going to be Monday and not Friday, just because there's not enough notice. Uh, the best thing to do, if you're interested in being right on, on it, is first of all, watch Feedback Friday. Um, I, I won't release it before Feedback Friday goes live. So I, I can assure you of that. Um, and the other thing you can do is become a patron because patrons are getting up to the minute updates about this stuff. So help support this channel. Become a monthly patron, patreon.com slash Leanna K. Um, one of the big things about this is they want people who are super passionate about it, not just people who have a ton of money. So if, you know, it comes down to the wire I'm going to err on the side of fairness and push it to Monday. It's still fine for Christmas gifts. As I told the patrons, um, I've never run a crowdfund campaign at this time of year. We're doing this at this time of year to offer a really cool Christmas gift uh, concept of gifting someone the ability to be an NPC in a video game. There are supply shortages with stuff with COVID this year. I thought, what a cool gift that uh, you'll get a downloadable template for a little holiday style card that you can print out and give to the person as this is what you're getting. And then the backer surveys will go out after Christmas. So I will explain this all again tomorrow on Feedback Friday. So if you're confused, that's okay. I'll do another deep dive tomorrow. I'm just letting people know it's coming because certain tiers have very, very, very limited availability just because we only have so much space in the game. Um, 
there are about we figure we can fit about 300 NPCs in the game. Um, 300, 400 because of the number of regions and subregions. But then there are um, 10 opportunities to write a story module, like a side quest. Um, there are 20 potential quest giver NPCs that you get to suggest the quest as, as well as the character. The difference between a quest giver NPC and the, um, the standard NPC is you get a portrait for your character, the full size portrait, not just the little, the little on-screen character. Um, and you get more than like one or two lines of dialogue. That's the big difference. And, um, and the concept of the quest. And then there are eight sub boss opportunities that you're going to get. So if you've ever wanted to inspire a sub boss in a game, uh, now's your time. Is this crazy? Yes, but this is the way we fly. Um, <laughs> I, I think the best stuff has community involvement like this. And the truth is that game studios do this all the time with friends and stuff like that. So we just decided to democratize the process. So more on this tomorrow. Uh, the best thing to do, Red Leanna K on Twitter. That is the place to look for updates. There is a, there is a game Twitter account, but we will be using this to sort of build that. If you want to follow that account, it is Song Sparkle at Song Sparkle on Twitter. Um, that is where you find, and again, I will go over all of this again tomorrow. That is the game specific content on Twitter. Um, all this is coming on Friday. Complete details, everything like that. Complete breakdown on Feedback Friday. Maybe breakdowns, the bad choice of words. I've had not a lot of sleep. I'm punchy. It's been great for creativity. I've been just off the rails on so many things, but have a look at the video that's linked to in the description box. It's the two minute cut. Like I said, there's a six minute cut on the Kickstarter page with much more Beelzebub and Social Justice Warrior um, and Mephisto. Um, so here we go. Countdown. Okay, everybody, again, up to the minute updates, help support this channel, become a monthly patron, patreon.com slash Thanks for watching. Here we go.